Good afternoon, people. So, welcome to this CTC photo session. It's about basic photography. It's the first time I'm taking basic photography in uh, CTC. Very happy to see such a big crowd. <laughs> Thanks to Peter for inviting everybody. So, see, the whole session I want to make it uh, completely interactive. See, I, before uh, <clears throat> structuring out this presentation, I had a discussion with Peter and few other friends. I just asked them how the presentation has to be. They just told me, when I walk out of this room, I want to take a few pictures which I can use. So, I'm not going to delve into uh, real deep technical stuff. But at the same time, uh, before using a camera, camera is all about electronics, some optics and some technical stuff, right? So, please permit me to explain those things a lot. So, uh, in the presentation, you might not be able to figure out a single large paragraph in English. So, everything is pictorially represented. So, it is less than some 30 slides. So, it's all going to be discussion. So, if you have your camera, just keep your camera on the lap so that you can just browse through the controls when I'm whenever I'm telling about something. Yeah, it's getting recorded. This one, okay, it's running already. Yeah, it's, it's already started. Hmm? Yeah, it's not working. <clears throat> okay, I don't want to give a formal welcome to photography and all, just that I prepared a slide. So, see, this is how I structure the course. The first session is about exposure. That is uh, how you are going to record the light, whatever you see, into your camera, in the sensor, and then to your memory chips, basically. And what are the controls you are going to use that time? You might have heard about aperture, shutter speed, ISO. So, all those uh, mystic characters will demystify them. So, second session, what I want to do is depth of field and selective focus. Of course, I will be uh, discussing in section 1. But in session 2, what I am going to do is, I uh, will take you people outside somewhere in that place. And I uh, will allow you to take photographs and have a feel of what depth of field, what selective focus is all about. And uh, session 3 is like, okay, after taking pictures, most of the time you will find you are not able to use your picture directly on the web. Suppose you want to put some beautiful pictures on Facebook and show it to your friends, oh, this is the photograph I clicked. Then it might not be really looking good. There will be some difference. You will be thinking, how the hell these guys are able to get uh, such wonderful, uh, brilliant looking pictures and it is not coming for me. So, basically, especially after you buy a digital uh, SLR, you will have this feeling. When I was having that bloody compact camera, it was giving so many good colorful pictures. After getting this SLR, man, it's hell. <laughs> I am not even able to get a single picture. Why did I spend so much for the lenses, for the, ca for the memory cards and quite a good amount of money for those uh, big whatever telephoto lenses. Telephoto lenses is another thing I want to discuss separately. <laughs> so, just to give an idea on the camera types. So, SLR is basically a single lens reflex. Most of you have a single lens reflex digital SLR. So, I will explain what a SLR is about. And the compact cameras is the point and shoot one. Most of the people will be having you might, might have seen. Rangefinder is a kind of camera which was originally produced by Leica, people like Leica and all. 
so it is it has a different focusing mechanism i am not going to discuss about range finder here i will limit my discussion to point and shoot and slr and field camera is a large format camera where a person will be able to tilt the the image sensor or the film plane in itself you might have seen people going under a da- dark black cloth and taking a photograph and all in golden days T- till date those cameras are used only thing is uh, now they have digital backs at the back where you can have perspective correction and so much of control is possible sinar is one ca- ca- camera manufacturer which still produces a field camera so that is also not under a scope of study today so coming to the parts so everybody can uh, have a look at your slr probably your interns are not available so here if you see basically the light enters through the lens so lens is uh, not actually a single piece of lens as normally you would think it's a array of lenses so you'll have biconvex and sometimes uh, single side co- concave lenses so these array of lenses uh, finally get a image on the imaging plane so in the olden days we what we had was in the imaging plane we had a film so these days what we have is a image sensor it can be a ccd sensor or a cmos sensor basically what it does is it records the intensity of light and the color of light they use a bayer's array i don't want to get into the technical stuff now so yeah it's it will be this is the digital image sensor this is the cmos so what is the purpose of a mirror what is single lens reflex all about see what happens in us i i'll also uh, before that i'll tell what happens in a compact camera in the compact camera it's a similar way you have the objective lens and then you have this uh, image sensor and lcd display okay it's not a part of the basic operation of the camera and what happens is whenever you're looking at a subject light enters through the lens and then falls on the image sensor where the image is getting captured but you should again look at where the per- photographer looks at the photographer looks through a viewfinder that's a separate lens again in some of the ca- compact cameras you might find this today you uh, even this is remote like you directly have a lcd and you have a live view so that's it but in some of the compact cameras you can still uh, find this viewfinder mechanism so here what happens is whatever you are looking is through another lens and what is captured to is through another so basically there is a space there is a difference therefore there will be a parallax error so in olden cameras especially in the film compacts you will be able to see some guidelines boxes and all so that basically limits okay your image should not go out of that particular rectangle accidentally i should not capture something i i shouldn't think i am going to capture something and uh, capture something else so you will have those grid lines and everything in the viewfinder so this is how uh, compact works but in the slr what happens to avoid this parallax error so i want to get what i see most of the slr cameras the viewfinder is at least 95% accurate even a basic slr there are cameras which are 98 and 99% accurate the professional ones so here what what happens is uh, this mirror is actually a glass if you remove your lens you can see that it is not actually mirror it's a transparent glass because it's tilted at a 45 degree angle what happens is it will allow a part of the light through the glass to the sensor at the back and a part of light what happens it gets reflected on the top of the slr system you have a penta prism or mirror in a cheaper slrs you will have a mirror only they will not use a, a prism so in a better cameras you will definitely have a prism so after multiple reflections you will be able to see through the viewfinder so now what happens is this is the same light which enters which you are able to see through the viewfinder and suppose when i'm clicking the camera when i release the shutter button what happens is this mirror lifts up over here to leave way to the light directly to the sensor apart from that you will have small sensors over here which uh, which are called light meters 
even before you click a shot you need to know what is the intensity of light <coughs> basically uh, what is the reading of iso i should say what's the reading of aperture shutter i'll be covering the exposure but that reading where it comes from is uh, in a somewhere in a sensor here which is not uh, shown in this particular picture this actually i lifted from uh, aperture's uh, manual apple's manual so the reflex mirror actually swings up when the photograph is taken and when the exposure is over it again swing, swing back so that is why in slr when you click the shutter button make a you can try it now give a 3 second exposure just uh, try a click once the mirror lifts up you won't be able to see anything through the viewfinder so what what we normally tell in wildlife and uh, sports photography is if you have seen a scene through the slr you will never see it as a photograph it will never happen because the mirror hasn't lifted then how would it be recorded but these days at least 5d mark 2 uh, 600 550 they all have uh, live views so you have you have the live view as well as you can click the shot so such things are uh, available and uh, at least 3 weeks back i think i peter shared something on view cameras like they'll be able to catch each and everything and you select the photograph after that so that doesn't come under traditional photography so this is it just try i mean just to have a feel of it if you have a slr it will not happen in compacts somebody was asking me if i can come with a compact camera for this session i think harini you you the person rules of photography doesn't change correct <laughs> abhishek so i think the sensor kill cleaning is happening in all the cameras just want to set it okay fine sufficient uh manual la putra nothing will come out because it's terribly underexposed i just want to see this <laughs> you to experience this just view you can you can hear the shutter sound now be 3 seconds during this 3 seconds you will not be able to see anything so that's how the mirror swing up uh, works let's come to the camera controls it's like a steering clutch pedal accelerator and brake and gear rod in a car so unless you know about these things which are the camera controls and you, you i mean most 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 often what happens is we'll be knowing there's a lot of space inside actually guys there a lot of space inside you may be able to come and sit here some people are using the balcony there <laughs> and in course of the presentation i might be suddenly raising my voice and suddenly getting my voice down the reason is because after lunch i can expect a lot of accidents so <laughs> i want to keep it that way <laughs> so if uh, those who have their cameras can see those see the dials uh shutter speed in uh, canon will be tv in icon will be s i don't know if there is any other brand compact you yeah you still have shutter speed uh, in that i have to explain through the me, me, menus actually it will be hidden in the menus i'll explain you later so those who are having uh, manual cameras huh 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 
Ah, yes. It will be yes. Okay. 